let's use the magnification formula for mirrors for a couple of questions for the first one we have a 10 centimeter long pencil which is placed in front of a convex mirror a 2 cm long virtual image forms above the principal axis and 8 cm behind the mirror. Find the object distance u of the pencil. Let's write the answer in the Cartesian sign convention. Okay, as always pause the video and first and draw everything, draw what you can and try, try the question on your own. All right, hopefully you have given this a shot. Now for any question in ray optics, the, the best approach to begin with is always to try to draw the mirror and the axis, the object and everything. So we have a convex mirror. Let's try and draw a convex mirror to begin with. And okay, good enough. All right, let's now make a principal axis. So principal axis can look, it can look somewhat like this. Okay, so this is the convex mirror. So the this outer surface that is where that is where the light would be incident and we have a 10 centimeter long pencil so let's let's make that let's make that let's say that this is okay this right here is the 10 centimeter long pencils and we can write 10 centimeters now a 2 centimeter long virtual image is formed above the principal axis and 8 centimeter behind the mirror so an image let's say that this much is this is 8 centimeters and a 2 centimeter long image is formed. It is above the principal axis and it is at a distance of this is at a distance of 8 centimeters. And this is this is 2 centimeters. Okay, we need to figure out the object distance of the pencil. Object distance is this distance right here. We need to figure this out. Now first let's use the sign convention and write down these values. So so to do that, the height of height of the pencil let's use a different color uh, let's say okay the height of the pencil so this is height of the object this is plus 10 centimeters i'm writing plus because vertical distances are positive above the principal axis and similarly the height of the image is also plus 2 centimeters now we also know the image distance v and this is actually also plus 8 centimeters and let's go back to the sign convention so light is really incident light is incident light is incident on this side of the mirror this is where the light is incident so that that will be towards the right so direction would be towards towards the right light is incident on the mirror to the right so horizontal distances will be positive on the right hand side and negative on the left hand side so therefore we we see that we this this distance is to the right to the right hand side in the direction of incident light so this is plus eight centimeters and u something that we need to figure out object distance we do not know what that is okay now let's use the magnification formula so that is magnification let's write that over here that is height of image divided by height of object this is equal to minus v by u now height of image is 2, 2 divided by 10, that is the height of object, this is equal to minus 8 divided by u. And when you work this out, u comes out to be equal to minus 40 centimeters. So this is, this is minus 40. And the minus sign makes sense because u is on the left hand side to the direction of the incident light. And according to the Cartesian sign convention, this, this distance would be negative because it is opposite to the direction of incident light, which is to the right. So this right here, this is minus 40, minus 40 centimeters. Okay, let's look at one more question. Here we have Meghna who places an object 15 centimeters in front of a concave mirror. She observes that a 4 centimeter high inverted image is formed 12 centimeters in front of the mirror. Find the height of the object. Okay, just like in the previous question, we will start off by drawing what the question is, what the question is telling us. So let's make a concave mirror and okay, good enough. Now let's make a principal axis. So there it is. Let's show that this is a concave mirror. So this will do the work. All right. Now she places an object 15 centimeters in front of a concave mirror. We don't know the height of the object. We don't really know that, but still let's just let's just say that this is the height this is the height but we do know the distance this is 15 centimeters from the mirror and we know that an image is formed 4 centimeters high which is inverted and 12 centimeters in front of the mirror so in the same side and it is 4 centimeters high 
Now image is four centimeters high inverted. So it will look, it will look like this. Let's say this is, this is four centimeters and the distance from the mirror is 12. So this right here is 12 centimeters and this the height, this is four. Okay. Now let's write down, write down with the sign convention. So you, you will this be plus or minus for you to pause the video and think about this. Use the Cartesian sign convention. Will you be plus 15 or minus 15? So turns out U is minus 15 centimeters because the direction of incident light is to the right. So the horizontal distances to the right of the mirror would be positive. That is in the direction of the incident light, but everything on the left hand side opposite to the direction of the incident light, that would be, that would be negative. So U is negative. V will also be negative because again, it is, it is opposite to the direction of the incident light. This is minus 12 centimeters. And we know the height of the image. Now this will again be negative because vertical distances below the principal axis are taken as negative and we need to figure out the height of the object. So let's again use the magnification formula. This is H I divided by H O. This is equals to minus V by U. Now H I is minus four and H O we do not know what that is. V is minus 12. So this becomes minus of minus 12 divided by minus 15 that is u minus this minus gets cancelled off and even these even these minuses they get cancelled off so when we work out h o this comes out to be equal to five centimeters this height right here this is five this is five centimeters all right you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson and if you're watching on youtube do check out the exercise link which is added in the description